Heard the phrase before, neither snow nor rain nor heat will stop mail delivery. But what about sub-zero temperatures? Mail carriers are carrying on braving the bitter weather. And as NBC 25's Walter Smith Randolph tells us now, some postal workers actually prefer it to be a little bit colder. Zero degrees may sound bone chilling cold, but if you talk to postal workers, they'll tell you it feels like paradise after the week we've had here in Grand Blanc. They're toughing these conditions to make sure they're living up to their creed. Zero seems warm right now. Even with 17 inches of snow and sub zero temperatures, Brian Blong knows one thing. We're going to deliver the mail. I mean, <laughs> it don't matter what it is. Blong working this route for a decade, and he actually prefers a deep freeze every once in a while. I will take this over 90 degrees any day of the week. After all, it's all in the layers. T-shirt, shirt, hooded sweatshirt, parka. Four layers on top. Actually only, I don't have any insulated underwear on, just the uh, pants and uh, these wind pants. Bundle up, stay warm, take additional breaks, drink plenty of water. Back at home base, Mike Steiner thinking warm thoughts for his 31 carriers, knowing it's human nature, not mother nature, causing courier delays. What normally stops it is the carrier's inability to get to boxes, whether it's because the streets aren't plowed or the area immediately in front of the mailbox isn't plowed. Back in Grand Blanc, a narrow path and the warm glow of the sun, keeping Brian on track and on time. I'm happy with this. This is warmer. Now, postal officials say you can help get the mail delivered by clearing pathways to mailboxes and putting down a little salt to prevent icing.